Good morning, welcome back. She no fake, but she my mate, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, my shaky hand. Um, we are just go, just go, just girls have shaky, shaky hands. Um, um, it's a Saturday, so we're just gonna go shoot some content. Um, I need to shoot a reel. Um, and I'm gonna try and do one like I don't know if you remember if you saw my Instagram before where I I'm in the car park and I do like a catwalk and there's like multiples multiples of me. Um, I'm going to try and do another one of those, so with like three or four, five even outfits. Um, and then also need to shoot some images as well. So I'm just going to show you what I'm packing. So this is the mess I've made. Um, so I take two tripods. This one is for phone and this one is for my camera. Because I'll probably shoot the reel on my camera because the car park is obviously a bit darker. So I think it'll be better quality on my camera. Um... So the two tripods, um, bags and accessories, coats, and then we actually use one of these IKEA bags just because they're so big that it makes it easier to see everything. Um, so I've got accessories, hats, props, um, and then all the clothes in there, coats, and then yeah, I've got the first outfit on. Well, I've got the jumper on, I need to put on the coat and the accessories to go with it. But it's really cute. The screen looks really yellow. I think it's maybe the jumpers throwing it off. Um, anyway, let's go. Mm, that's nice. Is that how you feel about what we're doing? Smells like my perfume in here, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it helps me smell like this. You think that's actually from me? No. Going down. Assistant. You're getting um, stuff in the box now or not? No, not now. Good as girls. Can't turn it off. Um, okay, so we're just setting up in the car park down here. Um, I'm gonna actually film it on my phone and my camera. So as it stands, I've put the the phone one here. Here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's set up like this. Um, so you can see it's got like the middle of the the post is in the middle of the frame because then when you cut it it's perfect um, and then I'm just going to do the camera that I'm on now on this tripod here so I'm guessing both <laughs> so I'm going to basically do this hold on so I'm going to walk around this pillar I'm going to come out from here I'm going to come right up to probably about here like half body and then we're going to walk back Okay, we're starting. Okay, outfit two.
um, this way. Wow, it's so sunny. Jesus Christ, that's so bright, isn't it? Yeah. Can't even see if I'm in the screen. Um, okay, we've done the video, we're just walking to get pictures of this outfit that I've got on. I don't know. I don't know if you can see me. Um, what are we having for dinner tonight? Can you hold the camera? No. Please, my arm's aching and it's just better. Just you can get it. more of me in. Yeah, what are we going to have for dinner? Okay. We're very shaky. Almost as bad as me. Hmm. Shaky Stevens. Yeah. I hope the sun's not too much on the wall. Yeah? Well, yeah, because we don't want sunny pictures, do we? Oh no, look, we've got a nice shady bit. Show them where we're shooting. Okay, that's where we're shooting. My ears just come out, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Right. Don't know if you can see this. Right, we need to make this back to normal size. Oh, it's for McDonald's as well. McDonald's and five guys. Probably do maybe 1.6. Sorry? Maybe a bit more actually. What are you going to do now? Take Peony for a walk? No. Later? I not feel like walking. Not feel like walking. Oh, the sea looks so nice on this little beach. Yeah. Look. You see? Oh. What do you say? You didn't do anything. Okay. Um. Just ignore the mess in the background. This mirror needs to be thrown away. Um, I'm home now, obviously. But I thought I would just make this video into a complete um, how I take the pictures, edit the pictures and the reels because you quite often ask how I edit um, reels and stuff as well. Um, so obviously I first will go through and favourite all the images. That's for the pictures I've taken. And then I will show you on the screen how I edit my pictures um, at the moment. Obviously I use my presets, you guys know that. Um, I have got one new filter that I've been using at the moment, which is very similar to the Milk Pack because the Milk Pack is the one I use the most at the moment. Um, so I use the Milk Pack, but I do have one new one which I quite often use for pictures like at the location that I took. I will show you the before and afters here. Um, so let's do this side before and this side after. Um, it is a lot softer, really, like super soft and creamy. I'm just going to show you a before and after on a selfie because I feel like it almost, like you don't need to do anything else to the selfie. Like you don't need to go in and try and smooth stuff because I feel like it just does it um so it's a new pack I'm obviously working on um it will definitely be an extension almost of the milk pack but I'm planning on doing one that is a little bit more I mean the milk pack there's a couple that are a bit more like strong 
but the milk pack is fairly natural ish i mean it depends what your version of natural is by natural i mean like the colors aren't crazily changed um but i want to make a new pack which is going to be like really like no filter filter because that is the vibe right now i feel like so it is going to be a preset but it's going to be minimal to give us that well for me still creamy it's still brown still slightly dark moody tones but a little bit more natural which i feel like my feed i mean it's clearly filtered let me just go to a bit that hasn't got so like this section i'll put it on the screen it's clearly filtered but it it's not it's not crazy like i'll show you some like before and afters i'll put them here of some of my recent pictures and um this one actually was quite different but can you see how like before fine but just like a bit doesn't look like very good quality and it's very dirty because the texture of the wall is obviously very textured and whatever um whereas after is so clean and smooth this is what i love about the new one that i've created this is the new one um yeah it's just so much cleaner and creamier so yeah the new pack will definitely be like that vibe like no filter soft creamy vibes let me know if you're into that and i will try and work faster <laughs> um so yeah for the photos that is all i do and then I'm going to just show you how I edit that video to make it like the one we did before like this, where it's me multiple times, because it's actually really easy to do. Um, I obviously do use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. I do believe that you would be able to do this on your phone on an app called maybe CapCut or where else could you do it? You could do it with like InShot and then another app like Pick Play Post or something, but it would be a little bit harder. iMovie definitely would be able to do it, and that's obviously free. I don't know if you can do the do it on your phone with iMovie though, because I don't I don't use that, so I don't know. But it's pretty it's pretty simple. Like when you see how I do it, it's really simple. There's definitely other ways you can do it, but to me, when you're filming this type of video, this is the most simple. So I'm going to just show you how to do that now. Oh my god, I haven't filmed a voiceover in so long. I've forgotten how to do it. Okay, so Final Cut Pro, start a new project. We obviously need to make it the dimensions of a reel or TikTok, whatever it is you're using. Um, so I go to custom, obviously name it whatever you want. Um, for that, these are the dimensions. So 1080 by 1920. Um, Peeny, what are you doing, babe? Um, and then start. And then you'll get this size. Um frame then you want to just import obviously your clips i'm just importing both the phone and the camera here just so you can see the difference i do have a real preset so it just makes it a lot easier you can just save a preset on here so you can just literally add it straight on um, i'm just looking at the quality difference that's the phone and this is the camera um so this one's the camera um like that is the quality of the camera and the coloring and then this is my phone front cam so obviously that's shit so we get rid of that going with the camera um the preset on the camera is this one here um so you can see if you put it up full is that strong and then obviously if you just take it off completely that's the original so it's just quite bright for my feed um so i put it around what's that on i can't even read it about 50 percent obviously it varies with the camera lighting on this it did come up a little bit bluer than usual so i just went into the color settings directly on final cut pro and just reduced the blue and made it a slightly bit warmer um like that um which just fits my feed again just a bit better and blends in with everything better um this is obviously just stuff that you don't actually have to do you could just use the original stuff then i went through the thousands of um different walking <laughs> walks i did and found the bit i wanted um, you just want to cut it, obviously, just before you walk in and just after. And then add in your next clip and do the same. And then you basically just want to find before you overlap the middle. So if you imagine a middle line, like where the pillar is, just crop it, like, to there. Cut it to there. Add it on top of the previous one. And then you want to go to crop. 
and you're just cropping that top layer to halfway like this so you can see the other half the other side um, if you're doing a video like this this is just the easiest way to do it it's also a good way to do it if you want to do two of you standing next to each other in different outfits that type vibe this is just the easiest you literally just put one clip on top of the other and crop it as you can see the color difference here is not great at all like the lighting in the second one is much darker than the lighting in the first one for some reason don't know why so first of all I added a graduated mask just to soften the actual line um, so you can see here this is it so you just want to play around with it until it gets like a bit more of a blend on it rather than like a harsh line um, you can see like that's doing the bottom and the top so you just obviously want it in the middle um, <clears throat> and yeah I don't know what's wrong with my voice so about that yeah just blending it just a little bit like that um, I did also then go on later on, I don't know if I showed you or not, and make the colour slightly different on the other one as well so you can see it better. I actually think I ended up switching out this clip completely, the second one, because I stutter at the beginning when I came out and I don't think I realised. So adding on the next clip here, and again, you just want to crop, you want to cut the first clip before you see you, like just behind the pillar. Um, and then obviously the finishing one is when you've just gone through the pillar. So just finding where I get to before I cross over to the other side, so about there, cut it, um, and then you just want to obviously layer it on top of the other one, and again, crop it, so you have that, that almost fucking smooth. Sometimes they just are, um, and then obviously you just want to do this for every outfit, so I think I did, did I do four outfits or did I do five outfits? Um, one, two three, four, four, I think. Um, so yeah, you just want to keep doing this for these. This one for some reason was super dark. I don't know why this one came out so much darker. Look how much darker it is. So I had to change the coloring on this one quite a bit. So I just clicked on it, went back into the Final Cut Pro color board, um, went to the exposure and just like lightened that side just for that first clip, just so it was, wasn't such a big jump. So it just obviously looks ridiculous. To be honest, most of the time when I film these, I don't actually have this issue. And definitely if you are filming it on your phone, you probably won't. It's just the camera is almost like too good for our own good. <laughs> so it adjusts. Um, so this is the last outfit now. And I decided I actually wanted this outfit to be first. So I moved it to the beginning, got rid of that bit. And then, yeah, I decided I wanted this one first. So I just cropped it to where I first start walking out. Um... And then obviously zooming in just to find the bit I need for this. So just before I cross over half. So coming out. Clearly I'm getting confused with what I'm doing. Coming out. So around there. Um, cut it there. And then just overlap it to the one before. And then obviously crop it. And there you go. That one was fairly smooth. But it was a bit the wrong colour. But I realised it's because this one. I... Yeah, there you go. That's better. I hadn't done the settings on that one, like the preset. Okay, so then I decided it, that was how it looked. So it was all like smooth and just literally me walking. And then I decided that was just actually a bit boring. So I went and made it into a stop motion. And I forgot to film that. But I'm just going to demonstrate it on this video. Um, <clears throat> so you basically get the blade tool um, and just make like cuts. Like this is just a blade tool, so you can literally just go along the clip and just cut it. You can do these as spaced out or as close together as you want, um, and as many as you want as well. And it doesn't really matter too much if they're not like exactly the same size. You it, obviously, if you're doing a particular thing to a beat, then it has to be. But for this demonstration, I'm just doing it as and when. So I'm just chopping it up, um, like so. And then you just basically want to um, highlight like every other every other clip that you've chopped up. So like this. Um, I'm just actually going to play it through to you just so you can see what it looked like to begin with when it was smooth. And I'm going to go back there. Um, okay, so when it was smooth, it just plays obviously like this. Like I'm just walking. It's just normal, smooth. Walking in and then walking out. And then if I delete these clips we've highlighted, then it will be like this. So you can see it's like stop motion-y. 
You can do it obviously as extreme or as little as you want. This is just basically a cheap way to stop motion. You can also make those clips we highlighted black, like black them out. So it would be like flashing like this. There's quite a lot of things you can do with this kind of technique. Um, but yeah, you just cut them out and like here you can see I'm just cutting out more just to show you that you can make it as short as you want. And that's an email, that's cool. Um, so this is what it looked like with more cut out. So it's just like a really cute, like snappy video. Anyway, back to the video we were doing. Um, so you can see that is what I did. I just chopped them all out. So it gave a much more like jumpy kind of stop motion effect and also made the video shorter. Um, I just found the audio from Instagram and this is the finished result. that is how I edit the reel um, I hope you found that helpful um, I do as you probably saw use a preset a film preset on my videos which I obviously do have available the one I use now is a new one that isn't available which came from the milk midnight pack I just never released them as video filters because I feel like I only really wanted one video filter for each pack so I was like mm, what's the point in releasing just two video filters but let me know if you want them because I can just put them up on the site that's fine um, but yeah that is how I edit them so I hope you enjoyed this little content creation video um, and yeah that is everything for this video so I'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>